What is drug abuse? Drug abuse is the habitual taking of addictive or illegal drugs. Common abused drugs and the effects. One of the common abused drugs includes marijuana. Marijuana affects the brain, lungs, heart, and genitals. Users believe marijuana helps them function better, improve self-awareness, and enhance relationships with significant others. In reality, distort perceptions of their insights, functioning, and interpersonal competence. Stimulants, which include cocaine, methamphetamine, etc., use often leads to adverse consequences, which may include neuropsychological impairment and diminished physical health. Work performance, social, and family relations can be adversely affected. Narcotics, which include heroin, morphine, oxycontin, etc., giving the feeling of powerlessness experienced by the person addicted and those trying to help them. Inhalants, which include gases, nitrous oxide, etc. Inhalants can cause lung, heart, brain, and nerve damage. Abusers of prescription drugs make the family feel like they are exaggerating and overstating the problem. Abusers often believe they do not have a problem and can make the family member feel like the dysfunctional one. How does it affect your family? Drugs are the cause and changes of behavior. Family members often become scared of that loved one because the drug is taking over their body and they become harmful. Once the drug takes over, the whole family is separated. Family members are almost as addicted as a drug addict. Family members begin to defend their emotions just like an addict defends the use of the drug. The sense of self-worth disappears as failure and fear take over their lives. It is at this point that families must choose to find help or be destroyed. Someone who feels lonely tries to suppress their emotions and begin to isolate themselves. They may also suffer from depression or mental illness and are replacing treatment with substances. As we can see, both the abuser and the family are being affected equally. But who do you feel is being affected more, family and friends or the abuser themselves? I feel drug abuse affects family and friends and the person that's taking the drugs equally because I feel like regardless of if you're taking drugs or if you're someone that's surrounded by it, it's still dangerous and still terrible um, because you're literally watching somebody deteriorate and it's really hard. I just, I feel like it's equal. Well, the user is affected physically and drug abuse alters their personality and emotions and it clouds perception and reality often leaving them unaware that their actions and choices affect the lives of so many others. So I would say the user is affected more physically, but many times friends and family are more affected mentally and emotionally. Uh, yes, I've, I work in the fire department. I deal with drug users every day and their families. And the families are more disrupted than the drug abusers themselves. How has drug abuse affected your life? Drug abuse has affected my life because I lost a few important people um, that took drugs or took alcohol to the point where it caused them their life. Um, my dad's biological mom uh, drank herself to death and she had sources of a liver because she drank so much. And my other grandmom uh, smoked so much that she got lung cancer and she died from that. Um, I feel like drugs are pointless. Um, they kill way too many people, way too many people are in danger because of them and I feel like they need to be taken away. Drug and alcohol abuse have affected my life in every imaginable way. As a friend and family member, it has affected me a great deal on an emotional level and having personally abused both drugs and alcohol in the past has affected me mentally and emotionally as well as socially and financially. Uh, it affects me in several ways, uh, stress level, uh, depression, um, it disrupts people's lives, it's an emotional roller coaster, and the drug user doesn't have any idea what it does to the family. It affects everyone in different ways, but for the most part, it's very depressing. 
who should the blame be put on? The person abusing the product or the person making the product? I feel like the person taking the drug and the person giving them the drug are both equally at fault because if you wanted to make a smart decision, you wouldn't take the drug. But also, if you were a smart friend or a good person, you know that giving somebody a drug is not right. Um, both people are at fault for that doing. While the drug manufacturers and the drug dealers and even the pharmaceutical companies, they love drug, drug users and drug abusers, I would say they share some responsibility, but uh, ultimately it's the user himself who makes the choice to use or not, so I would say that in the end it's the user who's ultimately responsible for his own actions. Well, the person that's using the product uh, really doesn't know the effects that it has not only on themselves but at, on their families. Um, I think the pharmaceutical companies play a big role in this government and and uh, maybe they should be partially to blame for drug addiction in every American family's life. My story. How do I feel? My dad was an abuser of heroin. He started when he was 18 and unfortunately overdosed when he was 22. So I was about four when he passed. I think the hardest thing for me now is kind of knowing that I was so young and I couldn't do anything to stop him and maybe if he was alive today I could have sat in front of him and talked to him and kind of figured out why he did what he did and what was going through his head. I think one of the most important things I've learned throughout this process on learning about drug abuse is that yes sometimes we feel like the abuser is being selfish and giving up their life on something that is not even helping them but we also have to realize that it's the drug that's controlling their life. It's the drug that's turning them into something they're not. And I feel like we're focusing too much on how we are affected and focusing less on how they're affected. I think if we just stop and help them, we'll be helping ourselves. We just have to reach out. Drug abuse destroys lives, tears families apart, and harms society. Avoid drugs. Do you need more proof?